Hey guys, I'm making this video to show you how to fix this problem that you guys see. So don't worry about it, there's ways around this. And this is not just for iPad, this works with any iPod Touch or iPhone for that matter that you guys can't update it to iOS 10, which there's a few out there. So the way around this problem with big apps that were created way before iOS 10 is to download that older version. Obviously this doesn't let you right away. So what you guys need to do is go into a friend's iPad or iPhone that's newer and that's already in iOS 10 or above and download using your own account that particular app that you guys want on your own phone. And just to do that, just to show you, you don't guys have to erase any of their own personal information or anything like that. But on their own iPad, you guys can go onto the app store right there and then just go into future where it's right here Scroll all the way down, and down here you guys are gonna see the Apple ID. So just change that up on your friend's iPad, okay, or iPhone, and then download it using your own Apple ID. They can just sign in back to their own Apple ID. Don't worry about doing that, it's not gonna erase any apps or anything like that, nothing crazy. You guys are just using another Apple ID, that's all. And it's just for the App Store, nothing else. So, right here, you guys can sign out. Once you sign out, you guys should see sign in again. So you might have to tap it a few times to actually sign out. Sometimes it's a little bit glitchy. Then sign in. Sign in with your own Apple ID on their own iPad. Okay. And then you guys can create a new Apple ID or use existing Apple ID. So we're going to do that. And then type in your own Apple ID on their device. Download that app. Then go back to your device. So once you guys go back to your device, just open the App Store again, and usually it would tell you it's going to purchase. So under purchase, you guys will already see that purchase. So you guys will see that particular app. In this case, I know which app it is. So it says Kindle. As you guys can see, I don't see the get anymore, but I see this, this different icon. So that means that it's already been downloaded before. So right now, if I tap on it, it's just gonna download an older version that they had from before. So Kindle had an older version before iOS 10. So right here it tells you this, right? But that's okay, you guys can still download this. And that's the only way around it right now. Before what I used to tell you guys is to go to your computer, open iTunes, and from iTunes you guys could download the app using your own Apple ID. And that way you don't have to borrow somebody else's iPhone or iPad, however, the newest version of iTunes no longer has that feature. If you guys download an older version of iTunes on your computer, you guys can do it, but this is the easiest way. By the way, you don't even have to borrow a friend's iPad. You guys can go to any Best Buy or even an Apple store. Just do it from there, putting your own Apple ID on their iPads, and then just download whatever apps you guys want, sign out, because you, you always have to sign out from their own stuff because it's not yours and then go back to yours and then just do this, which is really easy, right? So right now it's downloading it and that's it. So that's the solution for this problem. Anyways, if you guys have any problems, questions, you can write them down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.